I'm Cory Doctorow, and you're listening to a Creative Commons licensed podcast. Some rights reserved. This is the Trilingual Chatbox podcast. We're Laurie from Taiwan. And I from Japan. In this podcast, we share our Japanese and Mandarin language learning experience with our audience in English. If you're interested or you have a similar language learning background, welcome to join us. Hey, Lori-san, when did you start learning Japanese? Well, about 12, I guess. That was pretty early. How many of your classmates were also learning Japanese? None. We had English classes at school, but I taught myself some basic Japanese in my free time. Was it hard for you to memorize Japanese characters? It was okay, I'd say. And you memorized all the Japanese lyrics? 对啊, but actually, I had no idea what I was singing about. I mean, I only knew how to pronounce all the characters, but didn't really understand the meaning of the lyrics. That was where it all began. Exactly. I didn't care if I understood or not. Hi, Lori-san. Hello, Mai-san. Hello, Mai-san. Hello, Mai-san. Hello, Mai-san. Hello, Mai-san. Greetings, everyone. I'm Lori. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, guys. Uh, welcome back to our podcast today. We'll be having a Chinese episode this time, right? <laughs> and from what you guys just heard in the skit, I included a few examples of our focus for today. And you've probably noticed that from our podcast title, it'll be uh, about the Chinese character Jiu. Uh, again, it's a tough word to begin with. Okay, uh, Mai Song, would you mm-hmm. like to share a little bit about your choice for today's topic? Mm, okay, sure. So I often see and hear this word Jiu, but I feel it is really difficult to use it. When I looked up the word in a dictionary, there were many different meanings, such as right away, at once, already. But then I see the translation of a whole sentence that has the word ju. Sometimes it doesn't really have the meaning of the word in the translation. For example, right. I'll pay you on Monday. Mm-hmm. Right? I, I don't see the translation mm-hmm. of it's, ju. It's, it's missing. Right? And, <laughs> <laughs> if you come, I'll be happy. I'll be very happy. Right. Yeah, this also, I cannot find it. Mm-hmm. And next one is, 我住过, 我住, 我住过一次上海. I'll, I've been to Shanghai once before, mm-hmm. only once before. Yeah. And, 我不知道为什么我住不喜欢他. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, I don't like him. Yeah, right. like this. I like when I try to translate this English sentence into Chinese, I don't know yeah, where you, to put "ju" or I. Yeah, you don't. You yeah. don't. You probably don't think about the word. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't really think about it because right? I feel like without "ju," I can make yeah. a sentence. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's why I want to know the nuance of the word and want to know how to how I should use that word. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you, my son. And in fact, I love your example sentences uh, so much that I'm actually going to try and explain the different usages of this word based on your sentences. Okay. Um, Sounds good. But, yeah. <laughs> but there, there are many concepts. So I'll be including the first three uh, for this Chinese episode today, and then our, uh, we'll be discussing the rest in the next episode. Hmm. Okay, this will, I'll, I hope um, it will make it easier for you to apply the ideas into practice. Mm-hmm. All right, um, for starters, Chinese speakers usually use this word as uh, subordinating conjunctions, and they form an adverbial clause to give express, uh, to, to, to express 
a result, a condition, or a cause of something that's happened,、mm-hmm. uh, like you've noticed in the questions you posed.、Uh, a lot of the times, 就 actually can be omitted. That's why you feel like you don't need the 就 there. You can、mm-hmm. you, you can still make a perfect sentence. Right.、Um, mm-hmm. But we we can express better or more precise with it. Mm-hmm. That that's why we tend to keep it. Okay, concept number one.、Um, so the first situation、uh, we use it is when we want to express an action that's going to happen very soon.、Uh, I don't know if it rings a bell, but the last time we talked about the particle l, we actually also mentioned the, the same situation. When something is about to happen, we'll put、mm. "la" at the end of the like, sentence. Remember, right? Yeah, that's、mm-hmm. exactly.、Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes in the very same sentence, we'll use "jo" in front of the verb of the sentence.、Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll give you an example.、Uh, if I want to say, "The school starts tomorrow," in Chinese, it's "ming tian jo kai xue le." Mm-hmm. Okay, here,、mm-hmm. um, yeah, we have the "le" at the end of the sentence, and here in "jo," okay, "jo" can also be "jo yao" or "yao" because it's going to happen. So、mm-hmm. we we also、uh, we can also say "ming tian yao kai xue le." They can mean the same thing.、Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm aware that we have a very loose grammatical structure here. <laughs> So if I were to say it, I would say 明天就开学了 Okay, that's for me. Okay, in my case, if someone asks,、uh, "Does it start tomorrow?" I would reply, 对，明天就开学了 Okay, but as a standalone、mm. sentence, 明天就要开学了 It sounds almost hopeful to me because the word 要 is、mm-hmm. there. And、uh, I'm focusing on what's happening tomorrow,、okay. but 明天就开学 This sentence focuses on the action that happens when tomorrow comes.、Um, mm. I I know it's very vague. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>、um, yeah, but for vague translation、uh, from from English to Chinese. Um, the word 就 is almost optional. You can even say 明天开学 The school starts tomorrow.、Mm-hmm. This is a plain statement,、mm-hmm. but oftentimes it'll be it will it will be there. 就、yeah. okay, the word 就 it sounds like it's more than just a statement. 明天就开学 So for your example sentence, I'll pay you on Monday.、Mm-hmm. Of course, you can say. 我星期一给你钱。Okay, this sounds、right. like a plain statement.、Mm-hmm. But if you say 我星期一就给你钱 it feels like you're trying to express that I'll pay you very soon, as soon as it turns Monday. You use the word、mm-hmm. here to shorten time span on a psychological level. You、oh. see what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So they're both okay, but the "jo" there is like、so、short. "Jo"、mm-hmm. it sounds a bit more polite. Um, it sounds like almost like I'm trying to to uh tell you something more than the the statement. Hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, I'm telling、mm-hmm. you that it will be very quick. You you won't be you won't be waiting for too long. Mm-hmm. Before you get get my money. Ah,、mm-hmm. oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So,、mm-hmm. um, yeah, like I said, it's the translation could include as soon as.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. That, okay. Yeah, that way. Yeah, you'll see why the Joe is there.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so this leads us to the second point. It shortens the time that is talked about in the sentence to give other people the idea that. Something has happened earlier than expected, or to let other people know that the speaker feels that it's happened earlier. So we sometimes use the word "zao" early,、mm-hmm. okay, along with "jiu zao jiu." 
Okay, for example, I told you yesterday that we're leaving early today. Okay, 我昨天就告诉你了。我昨天早就告诉你了。我们今天要提早离开。Okay, so so it's it's um I'm I'm trying to say I told you as early as yesterday.、Mm-hmm. Okay, then you'll say 我昨天早就告诉你了 So you use this word to emphasize that you've done something at a point where you think it's earlier than needed. Hmm.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we use 就 at that sen in that sentence. Otherwise, you can just leave it out as well. Mm-hmm. Or、um, he、mm-hmm. left to study abroad at the age of eight.、Uh, we say 他八岁就出国念书了 Okay, again、mm-hmm. the 就 there.、Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to express that I feel like it was pretty early when he left. Okay, so yeah, to include the concept, yeah,、mm-hmm. of a so we say speaker's、mm-hmm. feeling. How, yeah, exactly. Like, okay, okay. Yeah, that's that's why I'm saying this, Joe, in my sentence.、Mm-hmm. I don't have、mm-hmm. to, but I want to express my feeling、mm-hmm. that this is as early as eight. It's、mm-hmm. too early, or yeah, it's very yeah. early. Yeah. Okay. okay.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then,、um, the third concept actually has something to do with the first one. There are usually two actions. The structure is like this: the first action. Is followed by the word "jo," and then you put the second action after "jo," or you can put an adjective as well after the word "jo."、Um, the ideal、mm-hmm. translation for the third concept is "as soon as," or、mm-hmm. sometimes we use "once."、Okay. Once something. Okay, I'll use your example to explain this concept. Uh, 要是你来，我就高兴了。If you come, I'll be happy. Okay. Uh, yeah. You can also say, 要是你来，我会很开心 Okay.、Mm-hmm. It, here, then I, I don't even have to include the joke.、Mm-hmm. Um, in English, you only know that the second person feels happy when the first person shows up. If、mm-hmm. you come, I'll be happy. This is、yeah. like an a, a condition.、Mm-hmm. But in Chinese. You get a sense that things happen conditionally. Once you come, I'll be happy. I'll be happy on condition that you're here.、Mm-hmm. So we include the "joe" there. So it's n- more than it's more than just a plain statement. Okay, let me give、mm-hmm. you another example.、Mm-hmm. Um, she'll call you once she arrives. 她一到就会打电话给你 Okay, it's、mm-hmm. also like as soon as she arrives, she'll call. In this sentence, you also get a sense of two consecutive actions happen one,、uh, one after another,、mm-hmm. and also one being the condition of the other.、Mm-hmm. Okay, in this sentence, you can leave out "jiu" as well.、Um, this is a structure,、mm-hmm. so we have to use the "jiu" here.、Mm-hmm. Okay, "jiu." Okay, he arrives.、Mm-hmm. So、mm-hmm. if you only say "ta i dao," da gei ni. Okay, this sounds a little bit off. If you're,、mm-hmm. um, it doesn't sound as natural. Okay, as with、mm-hmm. the "jo" there.、Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. The okay. Now, now I know <laughs> it's a lot. So the last <laughs> one is uh is more is easier. <laughs> okay. The fourth use is the most simple one. It uses "jo" just、mm-hmm. as Just, just、mm. young. Okay, mean only. Okay, like、mm. like you um you've noticed. So you're in your sample sentence. I've only been to Shanghai once before. Okay, you say 我就去过一次上海 You can also say 我只去过一次上海 Hmm.、Okay. The same meaning.、Mm-hmm. Or 我就只去过一次上海 It's almost like a stress. You're emphasizing only once. Hmm. I only went to Shanghai once. Okay, they're they're all the same meanings. Okay, exactly the same. Yeah, exactly the same. Okay. Okay, but if you leave out the "jo" here, 
Uh, you say, "我去过一次上海." Again, mm-hmm. if this is a plain statement. I've mm-hmm. been to Shanghai once before. I'm not mm-hmm. saying that it's it's the only one time. Mm-hmm. So you're not emphasizing that you felt like it was not enough to have just been there once only. Mm-hmm. Then you、okay. can leave、okay. out the yeah, job. Yeah,、mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. understand. Yeah. Okay, that's、mm-hmm. the four concepts for today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Again, quiz time. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, for for our quiz today,、uh, I'd like to、um, challenge my son to choose the correct translation、mm-hmm. between two example sentences. Okay. Um, but you will have three options. One is with Joe, another isn't, and the other is they're both okay. Okay, we we talked、oh. about sometimes it, you can leave it out, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, not to make things too complicated. I won't be putting the word "jiu" in the wrong places of of a Chinese sentence. I'll put them in the,、uh-huh. but put it into the right sentence. Okay. okay, the position will be the right one. So,、mm-hmm. uh, you only have to choose whether it should be there or not,、mm-hmm. or it's optional. Okay. Okay.、Right. Ready? Okay.、Uh, five <laughs> questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right.、Uh, please choose the best answer in your mind. Okay, is that okay? <laughs> sure. Right. Here we go.、Um, question number one. It's getting dark soon.、Mm-hmm. Okay. A. 天就快黑了 B. 天快黑了 C. They're both correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I think both correct. Yeah,、oh. that's right. They're both、okay. correct. <laughs> 天快黑了，天就快黑了。They're they're both、mm-hmm. correct. Mm-hmm. Okay, because、mm-hmm. it's just something that's happening very soon.、Uh-huh. So sometimes we have chill、uh-huh. so、there. So you're looking at the sky, and then yeah, yeah, yeah.、Oh, exactly. Okay. okay. Question number two. Um, I only bought a tomato and nothing else.、Mm. Okay, A. 我就买了一颗番茄，其他的都没买。B. 我买了一颗番茄，其他的都没买。C. Both correct. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, okay, if I want to translate, I only bought a tomato and nothing else. Only, right? Okay, so、right. interesting. So it's A. Yeah, you should you should say 我就 or 我就只买了一颗我就只有买了一颗番茄 If you don't have the 就 there, then I I don't see the only the meaning、mm. is missing there.、Mm-hmm. Right. Um, number three. The professor told us that we would have a quiz on Wednesday.、Mm-hmm. A, 教授告诉我们星期三有小考 B, 教授告诉我们星期三就有小考 C, both correct. Do <laughs> 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 you repeat the question? Okay.、Uh, the professor told us. That we would have a quiz on Wednesday.、Mm-hmm. A. 教授告诉我们星期三有小考 B. 教授告诉我们星期三就有小考 C. Both correct. Oh, I'm so hard. <laughs> I think I know this one. <laughs> the first one、uh, had Joe, right? Uh, the the second one had. <laughs> yeah, the second one has Joe. The first one. <laughs> 教授告诉我们星期三有小考 Um, B, B. Um, yeah. If you want to translate that, we would have a quiz. Then you probably will say Joe. But actually,、mm-hmm. I think A is also okay.、Mm-hmm. 教授告诉我们星期三有小考 It's, it's like、uh, your translation when you look up those. Words in the in the dictionary, they、mm. they leave out the Joe.、Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. I think if you don't have that Joe,、um, I think it still work.、Mm. Yeah,、okay. it probably still worked. 
Mm. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> See, even if <laughs> I'm a native speaker, I don't, I don't know how to how to translate. <laughs> okay, uh, number four. Mm -hmm. I got the main point as mm. soon as she explained. A, 她一解释，我明白重点了。B, 她一解释，我就明白重点了。C both correct. B, yeah, B. Um, because we talked about the the basic structure, you have、mm. to have e ding ding ding, 就 da da da. Yeah. So you you need the 他一解释，我就明白重点了 As soon as、mm. you cannot、right. leave out. Yeah, yeah. It will sound a little bit off. Okay, number five, the last one. We knew each other. While we were in high school, A. 我们高中的时候认识彼此 B. 我们高中的时候就认识彼此 C. Both correct. Okay. Could you read the the English, the English translation? translation? We knew each other while we were in high school. Okay. This one. A, A. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I would say that would be the direct translation. Um. When when you say B, 我们高中的时候就认识彼此 Uh.、Mm. This is a little bit tricky because、mm. when you say the 就 there,、mm. it it's also saying that um we we we've known each other for a long time as early as、mm. when we were in high school.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, so、um, A would be the direct translation, but I would、mm. say B.、Um, mm. It adds it adds a little bit other senses in in there. It、mm. Could be could、mm. be there,、um, but、mm. you you can't really tell from the English translation. Okay, okay. I、yeah. thought like the second sentence, the B,、mm -hmm. is like it, like you are emphasizing when、yeah. you are in high school, you already right.、Know. Right, you are right.、Yeah. You are right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah.、Mm. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> Actually, you got everything right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sometimes we we just leave out, leave it out. So probably、right. because of the translation. <laughs> okay. I I try to use it and then get myself. Yeah. 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 I mean, excellent. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll be discussing another topic focusing on Mandarin Chinese that's specifically chosen by my son next time. So welcome to join us again. If you have any questions, suggestions, or if you want us to discuss a certain topic, please leave a voice message to us. We will try to make an episode on that topic. All right. See you next time. Bye.